Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm just gonna take the code that we just wrote in our last previous video and clean it up. And I just was seeing what do people think about how I refactor or take existing code and change it up and write it what I believe to be more efficient or better organized. And put your comments down below and really let me know what you kind of think of these videos. And I'll do more of these types of videos moving forward in between the kind of overall uh, creating automation from scratch using Kotlin. So just put that comment down below, let me know, and we can see how things go. Uh, so let's get into it. So let, let's clean some stuff up though, because you know, this is kind of cluttery. So like, if I wanted to create another test, and it was like, um, you know, uh, fill out first name, first name field, right? That was our test, right? You have to annotate um fill out first name field well then we would have to copy all of this code and paste it down here and and, and that makes it kind of tough because if if the selector changes and it's div and then we have to come down here and add div and that's 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 very bad right so um you know we can, we can break this stuff out so let's just let's just pull this out um right um <clears throat> now uh, something we can do here is take um, take this selector and we can just it's up to you I mean there's there's many ways you can do it you can, you can keep it such such as this uh, or whatever but I mean again this is just kind of a quick way of getting things done and, and I like keeping things at one line um, so so we got that um, and then uh, let's do the same thing here. You know, copy this, put it up here. Um, and we're gonna put the selector straight into the thing. I mean, you're still having one place to change it, right? So if it ever does change, you have a location, I can all, I change it one spot. Um, so at the end of the day, you're still doing it correctly uh, in the sense of keeping it in one spot. Um, this is actually um, specific to our test. Um, and uh, yeah. So now we can come down here um, and we can, uh, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna, we wanna open the page again. Uh, what's the page? Uh, again, we can probably just bring this out here. You know, um, our test, what's our test URL? You know, we're clean, cleaning things up, right? Um, so delete that. So I know I'm going really fast and I'll, I'll go back and, and again, I'm going to have this code, um, you know, uh, available to you uh, as well um, at some point um, on GitHub or, or whatever it may be. But um, for the time being, uh, I'm just kind of showing you some examples of how to uh, clean some stuff up. Uh, so kind of see how I work and, and think. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, we, we have we have everything up here. So the test you know, URL needs a change or they, they change something of, of what the location of where these elements are, we can always change accordingly. Um, so we go to our URL and then what we want to do is we want to take our uh, first name and put it and, and we're going to, uh, we'll send keys and we'll say, um, you know, Bob the build guy. <laughs> Copyright, I don't know. Uh, Bob the build guy. Um, and then, you know, let's just wait here just so that we can see it, that it was filled. I'm just showing you some kind of examples of some cool things that you can do with uh, the web elements now that we, we, we create them. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, I think this will break, uh, but you know what, let's run it all. See what happens, see what happens. Yep, okay, so, um, I made I made a, a little bit of a mistake. Let's come back here. We'll try. We'll put these like this val, and then we'll say um, this is the uh, you know we'll say first name by here. Let's do this. Move that, um, and we'll put the sign up by or what's a better name so locator locate I like locator I like locator that um, 
put these here. Okay. And then we're going to delete these. Why are we deleting these? Why are we keeping those uh, web elements up there? Um, because these these uh, don't need to evaluate using the driver. The driver is null, right? So instead, what we'll do is, you know, we can still um, first name element. Uh, we just do their driver dot find by. And then we use our first name locator here. So uh, now we can reuse this locator over and over again uh, instead of, oops, is that displayed? Um, and then what's another locator? Val assign text element element equals driver dot find by and we want our sign up oops sign up locator and manipulate accordingly and then again we do the same thing we're what's our uh, first name input element um driver dot find by and we want our first name element and using our first name element we send keys and then we wait five seconds. So what did I do here? So I put our CSS selectors as by and, and kept them as here. And because you can't evaluate them up here with the driver, um, you know, we're keeping a lot of our kind of data up here in this area so that we can later uh, use them. Um, <clears throat> and uh, this is just so we can clean up. And then this is kind of the nature of our test. And, and, and again, this seems really kind of jumbled. Um, and let's run it and then we'll actually add some comments because comments are really important. Um, as well. So let's right click, run. And we open to Facebook, Bob the build guy, there we go. Um, so everything's evaluating correctly, everything seems to be working, we tear it down, you know, we check, 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 everything's looking good. Um, yeah, I think this is looking uh, a better in a better state. So I think that will do it for us with the cleanup. I, I like how this kind of turned out, but you know, again, later we'll we'll kind of have a way to make it so that it's a way more organized and put into what is called a page object model. And this that's the that's the holy grail of today's standard for how to do things. This is just a way of, of cleaning it up as it, it stands today. So I can keep on adding tests later until we were ready to, to build out those page object models. So uh, I hope everything turned out well. Everything looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with most of it. Uh, put your comments below what you think. Maybe things I did wrong. Maybe things you want to see better. I'm totally willing and open to hear your guys's input. So uh, until then, keep on automating.